I want to talk now about layers or stages in education. In traditional schooling, the aim is to transmit knowledge. Teaching methods include drill and practice, rote memorization, recitation. Children are regarded as empty vessels, and education is the process of filling those vessels. Teachers are the source of knowledge and discipline. The guiding metaphor is fill a bucket. In modern schooling, the aim is to stimulate insights that build knowledge. Instead of conveying facts by telling you, modern wants to convey insights by having you do things. Instead of simply obeying, modern wants you to think. The guiding metaphor is light a fire. OK, here comes the, the second of those three pivotal moments. What exactly distinguishes modern schooling from traditional? It's a discovery about how people learn. You can't insert knowledge into a mind. Each person has to construct the knowledge. That's the word they use, construct. Maybe this seems obvious to you, but it wasn't always. And it is truly an important discovery leading to radical transformation of teaching in schools. You can't pour knowledge into me. I have to build it myself using my own body, heart, and mind. Knowledge is not a substance. It's the result of a process. It's the result of doing and thinking. With acceptance of this discovery, teaching methods had to change. Modern teaching strives to inspire the student to engage in a process that leads to the insights prescribed in the curriculum. Teachers must get students not simply to obey, but to think, because thinking is an essential part of the process. Thinking is necessary to construct knowledge. The quintessential modern teaching method is guided discovery. Students follow a series of steps in, say, a science experiment and discover for themselves that magnets attract or repel one another, or gravity accelerates a ball on a slope. This was truly a phenomenal innovation and improvement. And that concludes the second pivotal moment. Before we move on, notice that the leap from traditional schooling to modern schooling um, exhibits the same properties as other stage transformations. So the earlier forms remain. In, in modern schooling, uh, modern schooling draws on traditional teaching and learning practices, um, taking the best of the innovations from the past. Deeper understanding of learning brings novel teaching methods which expand the possibilities. And again, modern schooling transcends but includes traditional schooling.